37 year old Brendan Cullen starts his 71st championship match for Tipperary as they seek a place in the All Ireland final for the fourth year in a row. Paul Curran captains a team that sees Brendan Maher and Shane McGrath in the middle of the field. Patrick Bonner Maher leads the attack with John O'Brien at the edge of the square. Incredibly, Kilkenny are chasing their seventh All Ireland final appearance in a row. And Brian Cody welcomes back Brian Hogan to centre back. Kieran Joyce gets the nod from the number seven jersey ahead of Richie Doyle in a side that has a formidable centre field partnership of Michael Fenley and Michael Rice. Up front, TJ Reid wears 11 with Henry Shefflin and Owen Larkin on the wings. The scene is set, the Battle of Croke Park begins. A place in the All Ireland final on the 9th of September against Galway Awits. TJ Reid lays it off quickly as Kilkenny, playing against the breeze, get the very first score. After just 12 seconds of play, Aidan Fogarty ends the move with a defence splitting movement. And once again, as Tipperary go into the attack, Brian O'Mara trying to lay back for his line forward. Pass wasn't great, comes instead to Shane McGrath. Nice turn. What about the shot? It's classy. Shane McGrath. Great score. By the young hurler from Ballinahinch in North Tipperary. Michael Cahill tries to back it down. That was uh, Torrig Ma. Ma has to throw the slitter high up into the air in case of being blocked. Good work this time by Richie Barr. Lays it up inside. Chance of an opportunity here, and it's well taken. Aidan Fogarty with his second point of the match. Yeah, he's a very direct hurler, but I just interested there, Tariq Maher going back towards the goals, and uh, that's something I think that Kilkenny will be working on, is stopping him clearing that those long balls up the field and to put the pressure on him straight away there. Michael Finley trying to get away from the touch. Two temporary lads chasing after. Still Finley doing what Pat Delaney did back in the 70s, hopping the slipper on the surface, but he loses possession. Will McGrath gives it to Connor O'Mahony. Connor trots away, confident that a white flag will be raised, and that's exactly what's after happening down at the Hill 16 end, and it is now four points to three as Tipperary produced the goods. That's a great score, Martin. I think you'll get it, you know, people at home get a uh, sense for how strong the wind is. That last free by Brendan Cummins and that took there by Connor, Connor Manning. Great, great catch by Richie Power. What a catch by Richie. What a point by Richie Power. Straight from David Herity's puck out. Grabbed the slither in the air. Just drove it between the posts. Shane McGrath goes up, comes back fast, Thomas Stapleton. Owen Larkin is there with the green and red helmet. There is club colours of James Stevens. from Kenny City. Gun goes for distance. Going up high is Noel McGrath. And on landing turns beautifully like a ballet dancer. And hits that slither straight over the black spot. And once again, Tipperary and Kilkenny are level in Croke Park. Level for the third time. Goes down for as Michael Finley. Aidan Fogarty has already scored twice. Ball inside, hops nicely for TJ Reid. He has the space, Finley is to his left, there's a goal opportunity. Oh, brilliant save by Brendan Cummins. The clearance is not made, here comes Owen Lock and the pressure is still on Tipperary. It's inside the large rectangle, no penalty given. The ball comes out just a little bit and it's a free out to the Premier County. But should it have been a penalty? Was it a free out? Michael Dyken. Uh, TJ Reid straight through and goes, did the unselfish thing, passed it over to Conal Fenley. Brendan Cummins stayed on his feet very, very well. Then they failed to clear it, so we'll just get another look at Owen Larkin intercepting it here, gets the ball. You know, there wasn't an awful lot to held their ground of what they were supposed to do, and he, you know, he went to ground, so I think the ref got it right. And here comes Henry. To his right, Richie Powell. To his left, TJ Reid. Goal on here! Brilliant goal! A little piece of magic from one of the greatest teams we've seen. Shefflin had options available. Richie to his right, TJ to his left. He went left, and the result is what you see on your screen. Picked up this time by Parik Ma, puts the brakes on, changes direction, uses the short grip and goes down towards Patrick Bonhamma. Coming across is Noel McGrath, Larry Carver, Pavor, David Herity. Herity loses the possession, it's a 
feed to Pomblock. It's a goal for Tipperary. More drama in Crook Park. First it was TJ Reid with a cracker. Then comes this as the Perlis lads came in. Lark Corbett, fair challenge and David Herity comes for his power book and into the back of the net. Finley back in here and Paul Kerr down first for his mar and as he fell to the ground, hits it an almighty wallop down towards Brian O'Mara. Lark Corbett has gone inside. O'Mara, Noel McGrath hits it quickly on the 45 and registers another point for Tipperary and the sides are level for the fifth time in 33 minutes of action. It's Colin Finlay. Swings the ball across over towards Aidan Fogarty. He arrives in spectacular fashion. Great catch, makes room for himself and flings it between the posts. Wonderful score by Aidan Fogarty who has now scored three times, all of them from play. Quick puck out from Brendan Cummins. Switching play over to the far over side towards John O'Brien. Gets a little bit of space for the first time in this All-Ireland semi-final. And John O'Brien from Tumivara puts his name on the score sheet for the very first time. And once again, the Cats and the Premier County are level. Dropping ball. Patrick Bonamara gets a touch. Taking the hit again. J.J. Delaney. Playing well, Jackie Tyrrell actually. Tyrrell drives it long. Coming through the centre is Aidan Fogarty. He has the space, he's on the 20, takes a shot, and it's in the back of the net. Brilliant goal by Aidan Fogarty. And can Kenny rejoice? And rightly so. A cracking shot by the Emeralds man Aidan Fogarty. And Brendan Cummins just got a touch. This is a brilliant wing forward play. Tommy Stable never moved in the right half back position. And Aidan Fogarty, no matter 40 yard run, absolutely brilliant goal. Batted away by Michael Carr. Killian Buckley is at the end of it waiting for it. And he scores in this All Ireland semi final. Kid Kenny, by the way, have scored one goal and seven points to Tipperary's three points in this second half. Brian Hogan begins to dominate the middle channel at number six. Down towards Henry Sheffield. Owen Larkin putting the challenge in and winning the hard ball against Paul Corn. He leaves Corn for dead. And Owen Larkin scores. The captain of Kilkenny beats the captain of Tipperary. And he strokes it beautifully past one of the best keepers in the game. His name is Brendan Cummins, but Owen Larkin scores for the first time in the All-Ireland semi-final, and surely he's booked the Cats for a place in the All-Ireland final against Galway. Owen Bricks, J.J. Delaney, backhands up as usual. Little touch by Aidan Fogarty, tries to get away from Paddy Stapleton. Stapleton without a hurl. Owen Larkin with a hurl, picks it up nicely, and there's more trouble for Tipperary. TJ Reid coming in. Lovely drink inside. A Rasper, another goal. Kilkenny are back to their very best. Who are we to question it? Hammered by Galway in the Leinster final. This is a mark of a truly magnificent team. What a performance again. Like they're just, you know, we, we've said it so many times, the greatest team of all time. But, you know, what, a, what can we say? Another absolutely brilliant performance today. Patrick Bonnermar unable to control. Goes forward by his Killian Buckley. Buckley drives it long and plays it simple. Down towards Owen Larkin and Richie Parr. Coming out towards Aidan Fogarty. Staying goal side is Paddy Stapleton. Fogarty looks back out first, TJ Reid. Trying that little jink again and then flings it high. Oh, my word. It drops over the bar with a little bit of help from Brendan Cummins but TJ Reid what a magnificent point that's an absolutely brilliant point by TJ Papa had a touch Richie Parr had the vision Brian Hogan has the effort and the score brilliant hurling by Kilkenny 
you know, and it's good for Galway, I think, too, that Kenny have won like this today because, you know, in case if there was ever going to be any complacency going into a final, uh, Galway are going to have to know that unless they're at their very, very best and, you know, obviously Kenny will have the motivation of the Leinster final, but you know, Galway can't let that worry them. They have to go back and do their work and get ready for the final. And there's another great score. There's a score from Henry now. I said he had to score from play and there's a great point from way out the field. Ten points for Henry Shefflin. You must have heard you, Michael, because that's his first point from play. And the full-time whistle blows in Croke Park. No question that Brian Cody is heading back to Croke Park to this venue that he's graced for so many years as a player and as a manager. It's a repeat of the Leinster hurling final, which Galway won. What about that for a mouth-watering prospect? Full-time scoring Croke Park. Kilkenny 424, Tipperary 115.